Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, live. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is hard. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Trying to establish that jab once again. Knee coming to the body, it's blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. Straight right hand now, just misses. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Misses with the left hook. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He is all about that left kick to the body. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, 
just unable to quite find that range. Thank you. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Lands the right hand. Just misses with the jab. Gotta check these low leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Just misses with the straight right. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Big kick lands. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Nice punch lands over the top. High-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Nice head kick. Round two straight ahead. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. In round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Able to check the high kick. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, 
Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. And a miss with the right hook. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Able to check that kick as well. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big body kick lands. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Nice sneaky head kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Back and forth we go. That's a big strike right there. It's a nice elbow. That's how you cut an opponent. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, <laughs> stop it. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Effective punch there by Lee. Two rounds in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will meet Motrin tomorrow. Yeah. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big kick land. Watch knees to the body. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Straight punch lands. Way to hide that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. 
no wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big head kick. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, he misses with the left punch there. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. And they separate. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Nice punch there. Liver and kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big kick lands. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, big head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice slip there. Sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Let's go. Set the base. Do set the base. Big punch land. Single collar tie there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Nice body kick. Beautiful strike. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Nice kick. That's oh three rounds God. in the can. Oh. We're headed to the championship rounds. He had some good striking in that round. Probably won, but that's all right. This round, we're going to turn the tide. Let's turn this into... All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Just a slip there. But that punch, no good. Sneaky head kick. Well, 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big head kick land. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Lands flush with that right hand. Out of range with that kick attempt. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Good stick. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw it. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. his opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Now connects with the right. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Big body kick. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Leg kick. Punch is blocked. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Can't take many of those. You better check. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, nice. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. That was a thudding leg kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big leg kick lands. Just out of range with that left hook. 30 seconds to go on the round. Effective strike there by Lee. See if he can finish. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. There's no tell on that leg kick. Uh, yeah, stop. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Oh, 
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Just out of range with that strike. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. Dig and kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the gun. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice straight punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. There's no give on that leg kick. Lee gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, nice right hand counter. Three minutes now to go in the fight. We All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's gonna get his hand raised tonight. He's gotta go forward. He's gotta just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's gonna end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh! And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful leg kick. Nice strike. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Not a fan sitting down. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Beautiful kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Beautiful body kick. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Liver kick. Oh, blocks the shot. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big power shot there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, big left hook there. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Going for the spinning side kick to the body, but he missed.
What a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. The winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!